In essay writing, one of the most critical and most difficult elements is writing a good thesis statement. The master thesis of your essay is your answer to the entire question in one concise sentence. Some teachers may allow two sentences, but few do. Your thesis should first specifically address the question, and secondly, it should give the reader an idea of the structure of your essay and what each paragraph will be about. These three steps, the ABCs of thesis writing, may seem tedious, but they often prove the difference between a good thesis, and consequently a good essay, and a thesis that misses the mark and instead causes you to lose points. So let's look at the three steps of preparation work before you can write your thesis. The first step, you'll need to understand what the question is asking by annotating the question as we did in our previous video. This only takes a few minutes, but it will be critical to your success. The second step, you'll need to brainstorm how you will respond to the question. Choose your examples, your concrete details. A good tip is that you should always brainstorm more than you may actually use. The last step of your preparation work is the most difficult. You will need to identify what your examples have in common. This is critical to writing a coherent and cohesive thesis. So now let's take a look at a sample prompt and go through these steps together. Our sample prompt, to what extent were the reforms of the progressive era successful at resolving social and political concerns of the time? Confine your answer to the time period between 1890 and 1915. The first step is annotating the question and understanding what the question is asking. We've done that here. You can see that the directive is to what extent, the time period and the constraints are from 1890 to 1915, the topic of the essay is the success of progressive reforms, and the tasks that need to be completed are listed below. Our next step is to brainstorm how you'll respond to the question by choosing your examples and your concrete details. We've done that here. You can see the chart where we've brainstormed specific examples. We've divided them into social reforms and political reforms, since the question indicates that. Brainstorming in this way will make writing the essay more organized. You want to identify as many historical figures, laws, events, dates, or movements that are relevant to the essay topic. Remember, brainstorm more than you may use. Our last step is to identify the commonalities. You will want to find what your examples or evidence have in common with each other. This can be overwhelming, and it's the most difficult step. So start with the essay topic. In this essay, the topic is the success of reforms. So I will look through my examples and ask myself if each one has been successful. After doing that, my answer becomes more clear. In this case, it seems that there was more success at the state level and more limited success at the national level. I would then incorporate these commonalities into my thesis statement. It is important that you take the time to walk through these three steps, A, B, C, before writing your thesis. To review, these steps are, first, annotate the essay question. Second, brainstorm relevant concrete details and examples. And finally, find the commonality between these details. Most teachers will include your thesis statement as a central part of the grading rubric. These steps will help you to write a concise and cohesive thesis statement.